Hey guys, welcome to GI Joe Expeditions. This is uh, what this video is for is to show off the cast members of our episodes. Isn't that right, Caleb? Yeah. So who are these guys? Are these guys gonna uh, be in our videos? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna show off some of our cast members today and uh, and talk about kind of their purposes and who they are and all that good stuff. And so we're gonna start with this front line right here. We've got, these are some of the commanders of G.I. Joe. Um, of course, my favorite is Flint. And, um, and then, of course, who's this, Caleb? Um, Snake Eyes. That's Snake Eyes, right. We like Snake Eyes, too. And so um, you're going to notice as we're going through here that we'll have a character. And then back behind him, like we have with Flint here, we have a different suit. And so, obviously, when we're doing uh, different episodes, they may go different places. And so, for Flint, this is a desert outfit. It goes. It was a later version of him. And so, uh, what we'll do is if uh, Flint goes to a desert place, we'll probably put him in his desert garb. And so, um, so we have these episodes. So you'll see those as we're kind of going along. Same thing with Snake Eyes. If he has a special mission he goes on, he may wear this other outfit. Same thing with Beachhead. And so... Uh, these are some of our, like I said, some of our commanders, some of our uh, um, frontline guys. Of course, this guy in the middle is Hawk. He is the general of G.I. Joe. It's a version, uh, not the original version. We hope to have an original version too, but uh, a good Hawk at, at this point. And so our next line here is Sergeant Slaughter and his Marauders. These guys are like special mercs. They, they go in and and rescue people, and they train G.I. Joe, and they do a few other things. So you probably will see them in a few episodes as well. And so let's get back to our third line here and see some of these guys. We got Mutt and Dusty and Doc. And it, uh, is that Yeah, Shipwreck's one of your favorites, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you like Polly, too. Polly's his bird. And, <laughs> is that your Polly voice? It's a pretty good Polly voice. I don't really know. Yeah. Um, how to speak parrot. <laughs> you only know how to speak parrot? No, I don't really know. You don't really know how to speak I parrot? I only the, I can only sound like one. Yeah, we'll figure it out, won't we? We need to. <laughs> and then we, Shipwreck has another suit. He has a diving suit back there. We'll probably put him in. Of course, we have Snow Job and Spirit and Quick Kick and Low Light. He has another suit and so does Bazooka. Of course, one of Caleb's other favorites. And then back behind here, we've got a few more. We've got Blaster, and we've got Gung Ho. We've got Ace, and Deep Six, and Lift Ticket, and um, Wild Bill, and Muskrat. Uh, that's a newer version of Wetsuit. Uh, and, of course, Alpine. Oh, we're going to get to Roadblock, aren't we? So on this back line, this is a character we kind of just put together on the end. We have Roadblock, and Tunnel Rat, and Sci-Fi, and... Uh, I think his name's Heavy Duty. Uh, yeah. I can't remember. I can't remember what that guy's name is. I'm drawing a blank at the moment. Uh, somebody will correct me on that. I'm sure. And Dial Tone and Lifeline and Iceberg. And then on this back line, we've got these three other characters. These guys are just Click and Play or Sunny Days. They're kind of some knockoff GI Joes. And so what we'll do is we'll use them just as filler in the background. Maybe they'll come in contact with them for some other reason, uh, just in normal civilian stuff. And so. And, of course, they come with some animals and stuff, which is cool. And so we'll deal with them as well, and we'll have them as part of our cast. And everybody gets in there in some way. They may be a backing uh, character, but they'll be in there. And so what we have, too, is we have file cards. Now, uh, G.I. Joe's come with file cards, and these file cards are really cool because they give a lot of information about our specific characters. And so they kind of give us some background to who they are. And so, like they said, this is Flint. And so it kind of gives his background of where he came from and kind of some things about him. And so we'll use these things uh, when we're uh, making our shows and they kind of give us uh, a little bit of uh, story in order to be able to speak to. So here over here, let's go ahead and shift to our Cobras. All right, so right up here in front is who, who we got here, Caleb? Cobra Commander and Destro. Yeah, Cobra Commander and Destro. Cobra Commander, of course, is the commander of Cobra, but Destro is, he is, he has an organization called Mars, and they build weapons for Cobra. Oh. And so we'll have them build some weapons, and 
uh, and they'll have a partnership at certain times. And so behind that is going to be Zartan. Zartan's kind of a mercenary, and Cobra Commander will bring him and the Dregnox in in order to basically mess up some G.I. Joe stuff. And so they'll go out and destroy some stuff, and they'll do some covert things at sometimes. And uh, we have a couple that we've made or we've had to replace a few parts for, like our Zorana here is missing her chest. we got to find a chest for her. And then we've got this guy that we kind of built out of some extra parts. He's kind of like a rogue viper uh, that's joined the Dregnox. And so uh, he, uh, he so we'll have a, snake eyes. he does kind of look like snake eyes, doesn't he? If you explain the head, um, his head really looks like snake eyes because it's all black. Right. And, he ha and it has a little boy in it. And that just has a black boy. Yeah, exactly. And so our next line back here, we have Dr. Mindbender and Storm Shadow. We have a Grenadier. And then we have Tomax and Samoth, the twins. I love them. Yeah, they're pretty cool, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And then they have a really cool trait. If you if one of them gets hit, the other one feels it. And so it's kind of fun when we're, we'll do some of that stuff when we're recording some episodes. They look so identical. They do. They're almost a mirror image, aren't they? Uh-huh. It's like they, but... The thing that you can tell the difference is because the emblem is somewhere different. On right, the, each and one side. of them has a scar. I don't know that we'll be able to see it in this video, but one of them has a scar on his face. Oh, I see it. Yep. And so we also have a few pilots, and we have a, a, a firefly, and then then these guys back here are some of our soldiers. We got to have some team, uh, some soldier building, so we have some crimson guards, and we'll have some vipers, and we have a special viper. And then on this back row, we have, uh, this is a cover girl head. This is just somebody we made out of some spare parts just to fill in. And so we have a cover girl with a Baroness chest and a few other parts. And we have some vipers and uh, eels and snow serpents and uh, pilots and things of that nature back here. And of course, with the Cobras, we also have... Um, we also have file cards. So these file cards will kind of tell us a little bit about them and where they come from. Uh, I always find it interesting that it says that Cobra Commander uh, was a used car salesman before he was the leader of Cobra, so that's always interesting. That's kind of funny. It is kind of funny, isn't it? Isn't that funny? I thought he was just... But I want to really know this. Why is Cobra Commander's face um, like that? Like... I don't know. Why maybe. is it silver? And also, why is Destro's silver too? Well, I bet we'll figure that out. Uh, I bet we'll talk about that in some of our episodes, won't we? Yay! All right. All right, so here, and of course in the middle, we've talked about these guys before. These are our iMeg shots. And so what does that mean? That means close-up shots. And so if I was to zoom in on, say, Cobra Commander, this Cobra Commander... He's pretty plain, you know, he's not, not a lot of detail, things of that nature. But then, if I zoom in on this guy, he's got a lot more detail. He's got a lot more um, interesting features and stuff, in order, and he's a lot more flexible, as you can see. It'd be hard to, I mean, we could put him in a close um, position to that, but they're so much more poseable. And so, what we'll do is, when we're recording these close-up shots we'll be able to get uh, a little bit more detail and a little bit more dialogue, per se, out of these characters, so. They look more better. They do look better the as far as. The new versions look way better than the old versions. Right, yep, and they're a little taller too. You can kind of see when you're standing beside each other, and of course they're on stands, but they're taller, they're almost four inches, and so uh, these others are three and three quarters, so. At four inches, these are a lot taller, and so it makes it does make it hard for defending vehicles and things. But they are really, really cool, and so and and very, again, very poseable. So uh, these are our guys, and who's that your favorite right there in the front? Duke. That's Duke, right? He is the he is the on the ground leader of GI Joe. He is second in command to Hawk. Hawk's generally not doing much of. He's just commanding from a desk, but Duke does all the work. So. Uh, anyway, these are our Joes and our Cobras, and so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, you'll see these guys more uh, more as we get into making videos and all that good stuff. So, please well, like and subscribe. Yep, <laughs> please like and subscribe. Thank you.